The BDS movement claims to stand for peace and against racism and bigotry. Here are three reasons why that's a lie. Reason number one, BDS is anti-Semitic. It specifically targets the world's only Jewish state and turns a blind eye when overt human rights abuses are perpetrated elsewhere across the globe. It is often the case that supporters of BDS not only turn a blind eye, but are in fact sympathetic to other regimes at the forefront of human rights abuses, like Congresswoman Ilhan Omar with Venezuela, or the leader of the British Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, with Iran. Even the Bundestag, Germany's parliament, recently passed a law declaring that BDS is anti-Semitic. Reason number two. BDS creates more division. In 2016, BDS activists targeted SodaStream on the basis that it had a factory in Judea and Samaria, slash the West Bank. In this factory, Israelis and Palestinians worked alongside each other, but amid pressure from BDS, SodaStream closed its factory and relocated to southern Israel. This meant that BDS, an organisation which claims to strive towards improving the lives of Palestinians, prevented Palestinians and Israelis from working alongside one another, and what's more, made the 500 Palestinian SodaStream employees jobless after SodaStream's relocation. Reason number three. BDS is not a form of nonviolent protest. The Israeli Ministry of Strategic Affairs found more than 100 links between Hamas and the PFLP and the BDS movement. Both the PFLP and Hamas are designated as terrorist organizations by the likes of the European Union and the United States. So, how can the BDS movement claim to be nonviolent when links between themselves and these terror organizations have been discovered? The reality is that you would be hard pressed to find a more bigoted movement than the BDS movement. The welfare of Palestinian people is not the focus of BDS supporters. The destruction of the Jewish state is.